His approach in this bracket, right? His run through this bracket, JDCR, Anakin, Rangchu, just crazy. Mayo Hill, right? Like that's how he got here in this position in the top four. If he wins here, he gets to play against Khan, right? And let's not look, let's not forget, in this top four, we got two Korea, two Pakistan. Final and those four. are the matchups. Korea four. won the first round. Arguably the strongest regions in Tekken right now. I yes. Mean, and they have been throughout maybe a good portion, I mean, depending on the arc that you're talking about, you know, Pakistan really stepped into the scene after 2019 as we went on right before the pandemic, and they are still strong. They are showing up here in this world tournament, really representing for their play style and their country. I mean, look at it. Their, their, their region. Oh, my God. What is he doing? Holy moly. What is he doing? Maybe he's thinking, you know, you got a sick backdash. So do I. Damn, the battle of the backdashes? It could be. I wasn't ready for this. I thought he, I was convinced he would try with Julia. I was too, but you know, that's even more surprising because he has so much confidence to pick this here, right? Because I talked about the TWT LCQ 2019 where he was like, I think Julia is the answer. For him to go to Eddie here, he is very confident in his Eddie. We're about to find out what Jun Ding has in store. As I mentioned earlier, it's going to be all on him, but I did not expect oh this. Oh my gosh. Those tricks are not going to work. Not against Arslan. And did you see the backdash range that Arslan had there? He's like, well, you can try it. That was a nice one. Uh-huh. And it was the chase down is happening. These guys are uh, have their cars in reverse. <laughs> They're both moving in reverse. Yep. Back up, uh, horn blazing. Let's see what happens. Oh! What a wonderful down forward two. Threads the needle. And look at Arslan there. Sidewall stun, but still converts to some damage. Wait a second. Wait, did he get him? No way. What no, was going on there? No, no, no. And you know, it's even weirder that he used it in that situation with the wall close to Eddie's back. I feel like that's where that, that rage guard seems to miss really and cause crazy camera things to happen. Yeah. He, that was definitely a hard beat. Nice try. And that's one of the problems yes. here, especially with those commitments and some of the attacks. Uh, Zafina just ready to play cleanup. Very nice. Yeah, and Arthur looks super comfortable against the character matchup here with Zafina versus Eddie. No! Oh, no! That is weird. That, I feel like that's stuff that Eddie does to people, but it happened to Eddie this time. Yep. Uh oh Man, We're in trouble right now. Oh, he got mixed. And the follow-up here, hey. downboard one to one Looking to close that out in two straight rounds. Man, maybe Eddie was not the right choice. It's definitely looking that way. And again, as you mentioned, short set, only first to two this time around. Yeah, of course, this will knock out our fourth place player as we get down to our final three. Who's going to do it? Arsene Ash is looking really strong here in this opening game. Beautiful! Mirage! Let's go! Wall combo. Junding needed that. Oh, and he gets the damage. The mix goes for the side step four, and he caught him in the air. He went yeah. right forward four there. Arsene knowing the options, knowing what he's able to pull out here. Counter! One plus two! He's just wailing on him right now. He has the wall opportunity just short of it. The Pogues, Junding with Rage right now. Are we going to get the Rage Drive? Is he going to fish for Rage Art again? Oh, what a block. Why would you block? What? Why would you risk it? Oh, and he was hesitating like crazy there, right? I think that, that Rage Art that he missed, it kind of put that hesitation in him when he had that situation there. Rough. Either way, amazing display of patience from Arson Ash. Backdashing, sidestepping, counter hit, getting the launchers in between things. Junding, that was close. Okay, so Julia is the option that we talked about earlier. Sure. But what about Lucky Chloe? I don't know. I mean, it depends how much he's been playing her, right? Is he going to hover it? Oh, he's going to Julia. I think that Julia's been, is it's what got him here. Yeah. Right? He's thinking about it, though. He is uh -huh. definitely thinking about it. This is a very tense decision. Because he's, whatever he locks in, oh, oh, oh. He's going to go with the main main. Oh, man, this is tough. Three straight rounds usually would deter somebody, but he is locking in to his soul main, his main main since day one. This is awesome, though. It is, because, again, there are certain connections players have with their characters <laughs> where they can do things instinctively, almost without thinking. And this is obviously the character for him. Just like round two earlier, we saw him use Panda. That is his character. But he has to dig deep. Very deep, right? Because it seems like the character, it's not all there, right? Like yep. he's playing in a way that's like, this is my character. I'm going to try it against Arsene Ash. But he's not like really prepared for the actual matchup, right? 
And this is his first chat, first time that we've seen with Junding versus Arthur Nash. Yeah. As far as long, far back as I can think. As far back as I can remember as well. And we are going into the game. I hope you guys are ready for it. Arson Nash up 1-0 right now in this loser's bracket match. Oh man, and if Arson wins this, we get Arson versus Khan in the loser final. Yeah. Junding, though, beautiful. Finishing strings, all right, all right, we got it. And this string being safe there is so good for Eddie Gordo, right? And yeah. man, all right. And that's the thing too, is because it has a second and a third hit. It's uh -huh. so threatening, especially by the wall. Look at that, here we go. Unscaled last hit, the follow up here goes for a side step three plus four, keeping that pressure, good patience from Junding. Oh no, he tried the spring kick. Eddie's spring kick leaves him back to very dangerous. And look at the comeback that Arthur Nash is able to make from that one mistake. Yeah, very vulnerable, and that was the great block, of course, and a great, even greater punish there from Arson Ash. Down back two. Okay, wait a minute, nice block. Block. We're all caught up. Rage versus Rage. Rage Ivan Lowe's coming at you. What you gonna do? Oh, unfortunate. He did not have enough life to survive that. Slow motion for me. Yeah, Arson had the life lead there. Here we go, Arson two rounds away from getting the top three of this tournament. Look at the defense. He looked like he blocked that before it even came out. What an interrupt! You got 12 frames in between. Yeah. I got a 12 frame counter hit launcher. Perfect. That was that was sick. He's a math wizard. He's that's a that's student. exactly why he picked the character. I know now. I get it. I get it. <laughs> for just for that? Yeah. The one thing is like, hey, I did it. Cool. But now you better win the round. Yeah. I, I have a feeling Arson's not going to do that poke anymore. Not that poke yeah. picks up. And it was going into it. He does have the life lead. You better capitalize. You put uh -huh. in all that work. You showed off the technology. Ooh. Down two, three should end it. No, he goes over the back one, four, three. Again, clean, nice, able to end round it. Three. And he needed that round, right? It gives him a little bit of confidence here. Yeah, not a complete blowout there. Uh, interesting that he went for the wall standing one. That's actually a high. Maybe oh, he tried catching him. Maybe there was a sidestep. I don't know what he was going for there, but doesn't matter here. Goes for the homing opportunity. Yep. But Arson looking for that wall splat. Look at these counter hits. Not finding him right now, though. Junding doing a very good job. But look at the defense of Arson blocking these lows. Why is he blocking them? That's the question. He doesn't have to do He doesn't. But he's going to because he knows it's coming. He's so confident in his decision making with his reads. And just like that, it's set point for Arson. Junding, big deep breath there. Yeah, Junding, he needs to really put all, all of what he's got left because this is on elimination point for him. He needs to do something. Okay, just run it back to Let's go. Oh, he went for the high option. Uh -huh. I like what I'm seeing here. Trying to make force Arsene and Ashton maybe second guess what his options are defensively. Yep. Got to do it. Got oh, finally. that was homing. Oh, uh -oh what a block. Uh -oh, uh -oh. And he's trying to load. He tried Woo. to float him. Yeah, thankfully for Jun Ding, that didn't float. <laughs> Boom! That was tight. Jun Ding here. Wall K should be short. Dang it. Okay, nice block follow-up. He's going to get the hit. Oh, boy. We still got him, game. It's not over. Final round. Game two. Let's see the if crowd could do it. I mean, this would be miraculous. You got to remember that first game they had was 3-0. Junding fighting for his tournament life here. Goes for an instant while standing four. Now, because he brandished that out, he's going to start going in with the lows. Oh, oh my gosh. Finish it. The Just build, finish it. The built-in mix up. Deep dash 4-4-4. Four, four, four. He's Guaranteed. feeling good. He's moving. He is moving right now. Oh, man, I feel like he's going to throw out a big mix up. He's going to go trying. for it. He wants a whip to whip punish. Arthur actually hesitated on that whip punish. What's he gonna no, do? No, boy, he didn't confirm! Start oh, it! This is gonna hurt, it's not it's gonna kill. It's a ton of damage! But the mix up, mix up. Oh boy, into nothing. Arson trying to close it out and go to top three. Junding trying to survive. Time's one here. Oh my gosh, he's done. Caught him as he came with down four and one four. Nicely done. Arslan Ash takes out Junding and moves in to top three of the tournament. But shout out to Junding. Fourth place here yeah. at EVO 2022. Nicely done. South Korea getting fourth place here with his amazing play with Julia, but also Eddie Gordo. Pleasure to see, of course, very much a crowd pleaser, but Arsene Ash, the story champion from 2019, making his comeback and now guaranteeing himself a top three finish. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Our top three, we got me sitting on the